This is another wine recipe, my dad's all time favourite wine recipe which Alec used to drink in the back and get himself totally drunk. Alec was an Irish man who used to work for us at the bakery. Once an Irishman, always an Irishman. Potato and barley wine. You will need four pounds of potatoes, six pints of boiling water, half an ounce of ginger, a slice of toast, juice of a lemon, juice of an orange, two pounds of sugar, four ounces of raisins and eight ounces of pearl barley and half an ounce of yeast. Wash and slice the potatoes, do not peel. Pour the boiling water over them, adding the ginger. Leave for four days to infuse. Measure the liquid and add sugar, raisins, pearl barley, yeast, spread on toast and the lemon and orange juice. Leave in warm place 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit to ferment. When bubbling has ceased, the wine should be stirred. Leave for a further three days to settle. Strain through flannel or very thick muslin into a cask, cork and leave for six months. Pour into bottles. If not clear, follow instructions. Well, if not clear, strain. Cork and store in a cool, dark place. Church cough, mother, or a graveyarder. That's what Nanny used to say. A cough was a graveyarder. Blueberry wine or wattleberry. This is one taken from Margaret Patton's. Margaret Patton's, very old. 500 recipes of homemade wines and drinks. You will need four pounds of blueberries, four pints of water, half an ounce of cream of tartar, half an ounce of root ginger, few rosemary leaves, four pints of draught cider when boiling, to each gallon of juice, two and a half pounds of sugar, half an ounce of yeast. Put blueberries into container, pour over boiling water, press hard to extract juice, add the cream of tartar, ginger and bruised rosemary leaves, leave for four days to infuse and strain off liquid. Measure the juice and add sugar and yeast, leave to ferment in a warm place 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. When bubbling ceases in this wine, maybe only two to three weeks, stir well. Leave for a further three days for the sediment to settle. Strain through flannel or very thick muslin into a cask. Fill in the cask completely. Cork and leave for 75 months to mature. Strain and blend with draught cider and pour into bottles. Cork and store in a cool dark place for, no, for a few months at least. Thank you. That is Sandra, the mistress winemaker on how to make potato and barley and blueberry wine. What else did my dad used to make? Mainly wheat and barley. So it's just like whiskey apparently. And we've got some in the shed and it's still. My mother wants to keep it. I'd rather throw it away and make some more. Thank you.